Yo, what is good? My anime faithful. What is good, yo? Guys, Fairy Tale is one of the last shows we got on the Saturday night. Well, yeah, because it comes out much later than uh, usual animes at this time, but. For some reason, Fairy Tale is our last Saturday show, and I don't really know uh, if anything is planned. Like, there's a skit. Because usually, if you want to find out what show is coming out relatively soon and taking up the slots, because all these shows are, uh, like, sometimes simultaneously casted through TV. So, whenever they get their channels and know what's coming up in the next you know lineup for whatever shows are gone that's usually where we get our info from but it seems like there hasn't been much info on what's coming out on a saturday so kind of sad there but still looking forward to the overall um you know just just to see it come sooner or later you know the the next shows that are going to be showing up and I'll definitely try to always have some type of video on a day li day to day but if I can't it be mainly because um, something just doesn't come out on this day that truly catches my attention or something along those lines then yeah then I won't but overall if they can give us uh, something worth watching and something worth uh, reviewing about I'll definitely hop on board but with all that being said this week of fairy tale guys my lord oh and uh sword art season two is coming in October so it might get a Saturday lineup back uh, later on this year so that's pretty crazy but um fairy tale we have pretty much a character pretty much getting bodied this week which I thought was pretty crazy um Levy seemingly is like dead. <laughs> um, I mean, she's probably just unconscious right now because usually when the eyes go into that state, that's usually a good indicator of death. But within this show, I don't think we've seen um, like actual mainstay characters and characters who have been around since like season one i don't think we've seen any characters like that pass away so i'm really interested to see if this would be the first um i wouldn't be really surprised seeing how the person they're dealing with is someone that even uh loxes pretty much couldn't deal with one of them and he, the, here this guy is using like every single move that the uh, that the demons were using, the Zeref demons were using. So to think that Gajil is supposed to solo this guy is pretty crazy in my opinion, because we know uh, how powerful those guys were individually. So for this guy to just have their powers at his disposal seems like he should not be able to lose like at all. So. I'm really interested now into where uh, this all is going to like play out because <sighs> to be fair um, a lot of people have been coming at me and telling me what like what is what or what could possibly happen and from what I'm hearing it's you know not the greatest thing but at the same time the anime hopefully can pull off some amazing stuff with this stuff with the the overall source material and whatever uh, that they have from the manga but supposedly people are saying that all of this stuff is like very lackluster and there's not a lot uh, to look forward to in this arc and stuff so it sucks to hear those types of things but at the same time I'm just glad that this looked as dope as it did not to mention um, they're actually dabbling in making these characters seem close to death if even if they uh, don't decide to there isn't a lot of shows that would even like chance it you know so I think that's one of the things that people 
kind of under undermined in a sense is some you you're lucky to even see the show attempt to act as if it's going to kill the character off because some characters are so like in deadly situations and then never even like fear death at the at the same time it's kind of dumb so for one show doing it and then to see everybody like hate on it and then you go back and you watch old shows and they've been doing it and get nothing but praise and stuff like that it's kind of just over the top in my opinion like that's why I just don't care really what people uh, have to put upon like negatively because if it is something negative that they don't like I am so I'm a different person and if it's negative to me too then you know then that's that's a huge that's a problem for the show overall but if I can watch it it's bearable and other shows have done it and maybe delivered on it better then what am I mad about or like what am I going to fuss about so I it's my choice to watch the show in the first place and to get mad at something that's already been done kind of in the previous uh seasons where people were supposedly dead and then they come back um like uh, what's her face is celestial uh the uh, celestial that gave up her key so the celestial king could show up aqua like she was practically done she sh- shouldn't be able to come back to the human world and what do you know she comes back within the next arc so it's just what happens in this show and if like i always say if you don't like these sh- like a show why are you talking like how come it's on your mind or you even have an opinion or enough time to spread a negative opinion if you don't care about it that's that's always been weird to me um but overall i truly truly think that we're getting close to the end all be all episodes and for some reason it's kind of funny to see fairy tale being the one uh show that's still going and kind of pushing uh the narrative forward with what they've been building from the start <clears throat> and the anime anyway like they've been doing a really good job with all this material that they have and i honestly love just seeing some of these characters i haven't seen in a while uh being stronger than they used to or still growing and and becoming even crazier so uh seeing gajil in this week and levy going at it uh with the sp- blood man guy is pretty dope but to see levy go down and thinking of gajil and how angry he could get would be ridiculous if she actually gets bodied so yeah i don't i don't think that's gonna happen though because to body off a character like her that would be pretty devastating and i'm pretty sure all the people in the manga would have still been talking about it to this day if something like that happened because everybody who reads the manga and is the same like there's not many manga readers that have a different opinion on the case so take that as you will um i definitely wanted to get this video out i'm gonna support any animes that i grew up enjoying or that i still enjoy so if that is something you don't want to see on this channel or if you don't want to be a part of definitely not the place for you guys to be then i mean i'm gonna do whatever i want on the channel and i hope you guys support me and if you don't i mean i hope you can find someone else that does everything that you want them to do or however that works out so with all that being said uh we are missing so many animes now man there's so much shows that are out that we can't even fathom that are just gone like they all just kind of ended now at the same time so it's like holy crap man we are actually um in the end game of this like great uh, episodic moments of anime like a crap ton of anime that was out so um i might have to do a review or like an overview on which shows did the best out of all the shows that have came out at this time so with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be and i will definitely talk to you guys in the next one because 
you know your boy gonna be dropping that day of the day content so if you do want that make sure you guys are sticking around you know what i mean or if not it's been nice talking to you guys and seeing you in the comments and i will see you around if you do choose to come back so with that peace